All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers in tonight's video. I get it. The first two games of the season, offensively especially, have not been anything too crazy. You're coming off a 13-6 on the road victory against the Denver Broncos, but everyone's just saying, oh, it's a rookie. It's Bo Nix. You know, the Broncos weren't good last year. Uh, that's expected. And then week one, you know, taking down the Atlanta Falcons and everyone was just kind of making fun of Kirk Cousins. Folks, this is like a top five defense in the NFL. On paper, statistics, whatever I test, whatever metric you want to use, the Pittsburgh Steelers have one of the best defenses in the National Football League. It's just really isn't close to me. Um, one thing is, you know, Justin Fields, the backup quarterback, is getting the job done. And people just get such a distaste when I say that out loud. But Mike Tomlin named Russell Wilson the starter, right? Justin Fields, obviously, like we've seen the last three years in Chicago, like we've seen the first two games of the Steelers season, he's a starting quarterback caliber dude, right? Uh, this offensive line, I get it. It's a little bit shaky at this point in time, but you're looking at cats like Zach Frazier, Troy Fautanu, uh, the future of the offensive line, whether it's in a couple of months, whether it's this upcoming Sunday against the Chargers, a couple of years down the line, that, telling you dude this offensive line especially zach frazier the film shows it uh bright futures all right before we get any further into tonight's video if you guys enjoy it be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content steelers fans i love you guys as always shout out to bet us for sponsoring this video but if you try and get it to 100 likes that would mean the absolute world to me so you know there are two and oh and i was reading a power rankings article on the athletic and the pittsburgh steelers were clocking in at 15. And as you can guess, there's 32 teams in the National Football League, and there's not 14 undefeated teams. So there's a lot of, not hate, but there's a lot of passive-aggressive compliments, if you will, to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Granted, they only have one touchdown. Uh, they have eight field goals from my fantasy football kicker, Chris Boswell, but you're 2-0. And you are currently leading the AFC North. Justin Fields on paper has only passed for 273 yards, but he has not turned the ball over. And the <laughs> dude, this defense, the Steelers defense, folks, they have not allowed either opponent Atlanta. Well, Bajan Robinson checks notes. Bajan Robinson, Tyler Elsier, yeah. Um, or the Denver Broncos to go for more than 90 yards rushing. The Steelers technically did not have a receiver catch over 40 yards this past weekend, but Justin Fields, 13 of 20, 117 yards. We'll talk about that second half offense, but I didn't really need to do too much. You know, you don't need to run up the scoreboard and penalties are honestly a huge reason why, in my opinion, the, the Steelers offense doesn't have as crazy of statistics as some other teams in the National Football League. Now, real quick, uh, the Steelers are getting ready to start Justin Fields for week three as Russell Wilson continues to get back from his calf injury. Um, Russ did say today he got another limited practice in. He did say that he is gaining ground in his injury and his recovery. He's feeling good. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. it you know you know what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't broke, do not fix it. And this offensive line all right, guys, before we get back into this video, I don't know if you saw this on Instagram. My video was memed with the whole SpongeBob riding up a roller coaster, wearing, you know, fairy stuff. And it was just a complete joke because it was you know, not a real roller coaster. It was like a two feet drop. People were clowning my 10 and 7 take. The Pittsburgh Steelers are 2 and 0, and they're leading the division. Bengals 0-2, Ravens 0-2. So I'm going to show you step-by-step step because BetUS is sponsoring this video. If you still want to throw it down on the Steelers to win the division, I'm going to show you step-by-step. Step. We're going to go scroll down from football. We're going to go down to NFL divisions, and we're going to scroll down here to the AFC North. we got the Pittsburgh Steelers here clocking in at plus 280. Folks, uh, once again, 150% bonus on your first deposit, all right? The next two deposits, you'll receive 125% bonus. Use the code YouTube150. Uh, the Steelers, uh, once again, easily a double-digit win team, in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let's get back to it. Shout out to BetUS for sponsoring this video. Has been shaky at times. 
you know, Roger Jones, like three penalties in one drive, gets the boot. Troy Fapanu steps in at right tackle. He wasn't perfect, but he was pretty damn good for his first ever NFL start. Uh, but let's get to this offense because Arthur Smith just said that he's very encouraged by Justin Fields. And I think we all can agree, like, you know, whether you think Justin is, no matter what your view of Justin Fields is as a football player, quarterback, running, running quarterback, whatever it is, I think most people would agree that Arthur Smith's system does set up for Justin Fields perfectly. So he's got 273 passing yards and one touchdown. He only has technically 84 rushing yards, but they've all been big. This past weekend, eight carries, 27 yards, including that long of seven or 16 yards. Apologies. Most importantly, folks, he's yet to throw an interception. This is the first. He's been in the NFL for four years. This is the first year he has not thrown an interception in the first two games of the season. And yeah, I get it. He only has one touchdown pass, but <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers are 2-0. Honestly, who really cares? I don't think Steelers fans are caring about you know the advanced metrics of Justin Fields' passing statistics because they haven't played in a shootout. That defense is holding opponents to like 10 points per game. I know we're two games into the year, but whatever. Um Justin has a 94.4 passer rating. That's the best he's ever had in two weeks through the season. He also has completed 69.8% of his throws, also a career best. Now, granted, uh, he's only attempted 6.3 air yards per attempt, and he's only dropped back a career low 28 times per game. He has taken four sacks, but uh, some good news. Roman Wilson today logged a full practice, still looking to make his NFL debut. And this is important because... You know, outside, like Pat Frymouth had a great game, four catches, four targets, 39 yards. The next leading receiver was George Pickens with two catches for 29 yards. Now we'll get to the penalties in just a second here, but they need a little bit more help, right? They need a little bit more versatility, a little bit more talent at the wide receiver room because Roman's injured and hopefully he comes back and he's ready to go for Sunday to make his NFL debut. But like they do need a little bit more offense, right? In the second half, the offense just could not get into a rhythm. They had the ball seven times in the second half this past Sunday against Denver. The longest of those drives lasted five plays. All right. Three times in the second half, the Steelers went three and out. They gained just 62 yards of offense after halftime. They only had three total first downs. Granted, week one, they committed nine penalties for 60 yards in week one. And then in week two, like, you know, Justin Fields had a phenomenal throw on the run to George Pickens. But that play was called back because Roger Jones holding penalty. All right. That was one of the three he had in his lone series in the game. Also, in the first half, an offensive pass interference penalty on Van Jefferson wiped out what would have been a touchdown to Pickens. So, week two, the Steelers, 10 penalties for 78 yards. Now, if you've been paying attention to any football games this season, two games in, penalties, it feels like, every single year for every single team, whether it's you know crazy statistics like nine penalties for 60 yards or week two, 10 penalties for 78 yards, like, doesn't matter could have been five penalties for 32 yards they just are drive killers it's momentum killers and it shoots yourself in the foot so the Steelers need that to get cleaned up um but I, like I said man Troy Fadipano at right tackle he looked really good and just based on the film I've seen you know, I'm not an offensive line guru I'm not even a football guru Zach Frazier might be the best offensive lineman rookie in two weeks of the season I think I'm telling you, man, this offensive line long term, that's why you drafted Troy. That's why you drafted Zach. That's also why you drafted Mason in the fourth round. Long term, the offensive line looks really good. And folks, at the end of the day, you're 2-0. The Steelers are 2-0. You got the Chargers at home. That's going to be a great football game. Then you got the Colts on the road, the Cowgirls at home, the Raiders, the Jets, the Giants. It's not the easiest schedule in the world. They've got a very difficult second half of the schedule as well, but that's why these wins with a backup QB. Yes, I'm fully aware Justin Fields is a starting caliber quarterback, but technically on the depth chart, he is the backup QB. 2-0 with Justin Fields. Everyone's taking that, all right? Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We'll probably post a Steelers video hopefully Sunday afternoon with a victory recap. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great upcoming weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. You know the whole deal. And guys, give me a score prediction for Sunday's matchup against the Chargers and Harbaugh down below. Peace.